we, we get calls here all the time like, oh, how can I get, get rid of the stress I feel in tournaments? And, and, you know, my first reaction is, do you really, really want to get rid of that? I mean, if you really understood stress, you, you would not look at it as being a, a, an obstacle. Because some of the I don't know, opinions that people have about pressure may or may not be true. Let, let, let's take a look at some of them. What about uh, when you feel the effects of pressure, your performance always drops? Is that true? No, no. I mean, most world records are held in big tournaments where there's pressure. Pressure's all in your mind, it's not real. What about that? It's, it is real, and, and it's probably adrenaline. So uh, what does adrenaline do to the body? I mean, when we're under stress, it's a natural chemical that the body produces, and, and it's interesting, the effects of adrenaline. Adrenaline increases endurance. It increases strength. Is that important to a cross-country runner? Swimmers tell me they, they, they need it. They count on it. Guys that run marathons and they run, uh, uh, they, they do uh, triathlons and things like that, they, they tell me that, well, they, they need that. They need that adrenaline. Uh, now, it also makes your heart rate go up, increases blood pressure. That's not the best thing for an international rifle shooter when he's got to shoot between pulse beats. But um, it's, it's, it also increases sensory perception. So uh, for some, some people have said that they think that, that, that their vision improves, that their, uh, their awareness of things improves. Um, so it sounds like to me that pressure is, is, is about as, as helpful as it, as it is potentially harmful. So, so it, it's at least a neutral. If, and if not, a, a plus. In, in, in some applications. What I think bothers people is that it's so different from training. The feeling and pressure is different from training. And because it's different and because the media or whoever they've been talking to since they've gr grown up tends to talk n in negative terms about pressure, they have a negative opinion of it. I don't believe that pressure causes your performance to drop, but I believe your attitude about it could. If your attitude is that when I feel different, I perform worse, then, then that's, that's an issue. Then that's an issue. But pressure didn't cause that. Your attitude did. So your attitude about it is what's important. So let's take a look. Like all I have to do to get rid of pressure is just relax. That's, just, that's like saying that the, that the more relaxed you are, the better you'll do. Well, I don't know. That means if you're about ready to go to sleep, you, you can run faster? I don't like that. I don't, I don't think that works. Now, I think you can, there's a portion of pressure that you can reduce uh, the, the excitement level, you can reduce that with, uh, with, with some techniques, and we'll talk about that, relaxation techniques. But, but you're not, you don't, the, the key to this, the answer to this question here is that you don't want to get rid of it. You want to you wanna be okay with it. You want to you say, okay, in, in training I feel this way and I can do well, in competition I feel this way and I can also do well. So, I mean, it doesn't really matter to me whether I feel it or I don't feel it. I know that I, I'm going to do well either way. So what is it? I mean, everybody, I guess, has their own idea about how to, what pressure's like, but here's, here's my idea about it. I think it's an amplifier. I think pressure makes everything more important. It amplifies the thrill of victory. It am, amplifies the agony of defeat. There's more on this, the, the importance of the event or the importance of the, of, of the, of the situation within the event uh, heightens 
your um, emotions or your your your, your feeling or of, of, of what happens, it, it 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 just amplifies things. I think that pressure is really two things, and they're not exactly the same thing. One is anxiety, which is fear, and tension, which is your level of excitement. Now, is it okay to be excited? Yeah. Is, is, is it okay to be really relaxed? Yeah. But it might be appropriate in some sports to be really relaxed. It might be appropriate, more appropriate in some sports to be really excited. So it depends on what's appropriate for the, what's the, what's the ideal level of tension for your, for your activity. But anxiety, fear, fear can paralyze an athlete. And some people are afraid. What do you think people are afraid of when they say that they're, they're fearful? Expectations. Sorry. What? Expectations. Mm -hmm. uh, you're, you're afraid of failing. Okay. You're afraid of letting down your teammates mm -hmm. or your coach or your parents or your community. Mm -hmm. So there's high level of expectations on success. So. Yep. Yep. Is that pretty much pretty much covered, or is there something is, is there something else? I think it's pretty good. You know, we you have an investment of time, money, effort, energy. Other people have sacrificed for you. You've sacrificed for this. You you, you want it to pay off. You know, when you, when you perform really, really well, it's it, the ride home from the event is, is a lot more fun than when you don't, when you blow it, you know. You know I'm, I'm afraid I'm going to have to have that bummer ride home, you know. So, what if I could show you how to eliminate fear forever? Would that be okay? Would you, would, you be, would you be willing to make a little investment in that? Okay, here's how you do it. You have to accept a couple things. The first thing that you have to accept is that everything that happens to you in your life happens for a positive reason if you look for it. If you believe that everything that's happening to me, you go into a tournament and you say, everything that happens in a tournament needs to happen to me. This needs to happen because only one of two things can happen to me. Either I win or I learn. Either, either I perform well and I succeed and I feel good about that or I'm shown something that I, that, there's, that I absolutely have to see and have to experience in order to move forward. Think about this for a minute. When do we learn? Do we learn when everything goes well or do we learn when they don't, when it doesn't? We typically don't learn much when everything just goes right. I mean, if, if and I'm not against that by the way, I like the idea that, no, that no, everything goes good. I, I like that, but you don't learn very much in that situation. You tend to learn when you struggle. You tend to learn when you get in a tournament and things don't go well and all of a sudden you realize, you know, I didn't train that. It's like when you take a test in school and you don't know the answers. Well, it's a good, there's a good indication you didn't study that. But I think the best way to, to, to beat this fear idea is to, is to go into a tournament like this. Whatever happens to me needs to happen. I'm, I would much rather shoot well than not shoot well. So I'm going to train and I'm going to work hard. And I'm going to do everything I can to have the outcome be, be, be good. Because, because I like the rewards. I, I like, I would much rather uh, be at the top of the leaderboard or near the top of the leaderboard than not be. There are a lot of, re of, of, of rewards for, for, for doing well. But on the other hand, I've got to think that every champion I've ever met has told me the, exactly the same thing. 
You learn more when you fail than when you don't fail. Now, I'm not saying you should go out deliberately trying to fail. You don't have to do that. Life will throw you enough curves where, where you don't have to try to find them. But having the right attitude when you do have a bad, sh a bad performance is critical here is that your, how you respond to what happens is really what's important. I personally believe that what happens to you in life doesn't matter. But what you do about what happens does. <laughs>